Hi dear children how are you all I hope you all are keeping well and doing great okay so we have to start today's class and before we start I want to say you the same thing as you get uh, the same notification by all the subscriber in their videos that don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to like the channel because that is the way how we come to know about this whether you like this video or not okay so I shall start Merchant of Venice okay so in the previous video we did the explanation of act 2 scene 2 first section of this was finished okay that means up to page number 52 enter Bassanio with Leonardo and other followers from here we have to start I hope you are able to see from here okay where Bassanio with Leonardo and his friends takes the entry into the scene from there we have to start so we shall start page number 52 please take out and I'll keep reading the text and I'll keep you explaining line by line okay so you have to take your book with you you should keep book with you have pencil in your hand and listen to the explanation line by line and listen it twice and thrice so that uh, it may be clear to you okay enter Bassanio with Leonardo and other followers Bassanio said you may do so but let it be so hasted that supper be ready at the farthest by five o'clock see these letters delivered put the liveries to making and desire Gresciano to come anon to my lodging okay so here what Bassanio says Bassanio is now giving order to his servant he is giving instruction to his servant okay and who is servant Leonardo here and what he is telling him that you may do so okay but do it fast so that supper is ready latest by five o'clock so what he tells Leonardo that you may do so that he must be telling about any work to be completed and then after that he tells that you look you take care that supper that is dinner should be ready latest by five o'clock then he says see these letters delivered and then he also hand over some letters to him and says that you take care that these letters are delivered on time and then place orders for servants uniform and one more instruction he gave that is you place order uniform for the other servants and request Gresciano to come immediately to my house okay so these three things are there that he orders Leonardo then after this servant exit that is he leaves the place after this Launcelot now says to his father that to him father now what he tells that is to him that father I want to give him service I was talking about him only that I want to leave service of Shylock my old master and I want to join his servant uh, his service I want to become his servant then Gobo replied he said that God bless your worship he said that God bless you sir okay now to whom he said this he said to Bassanio Bassanio gramercy wouldest thou ought with me and then Bassanio asked Gobo that gramercy that thank you and may God's mercy be on you and do you want anything from me and then he asked that uh, thank you for giving me blessings and may you have also blessings upon you and he asked Gobo that what do you want from me do you want anything from me then Gobo said here's my son sir a poor boy and then what Gobo said that here is my son sir a poor boy then Launcelot he interrupted because he heard the word that he uh, is addressing uh, to Launcelot saying that he is poor so he interrupted immediately and Launcelot said that not a poor boy sir but the rich Jews man that would 
sir as my father shall specify then launcelot now says that not a poor boy sir but a servant of the rich chief and then he said that i am not uh, not a poor boy i am servant of rich chief he wishes sir as my father will explain that is he want to say you something and my father will explain you now then gobo said he has a great infection sir as one would say to sir and then what gobo said that he has a great infection now here infection is a word wrongly used in place of affection okay so uh, and why it is so because in order to bring out some humorous elements some funny elements so that audience may not get bored okay readers may not get bored so here uh, gobo said that is he has a great infection that is infection here is wrongly used in place of affection that he has uh, affection sir something with you and that is indeed sorry just a minute so here he says here that he is very keen sir to serve as you might say then launcelot said indeed the short and the long is i serve the chief and have a desire as my father shall specify now what launcelot said that indeed the long and the short of it is that is the long and short of means that is in brief if i say what we actually want to say you that i am in the service of the jew and wish as my father will explain now launcelot himself is not telling anything that uh, to basanio that he wants to join service of basanio again and again he leaves on his father that my father will ex explain you okay that what is the desire actually and then here gobo said his master and he saving your worship's reverence are scars cater cousins okay now what gobo said that his master and he that is his master who is master shylock and he here refers for launcelot so his master and he hardly get along with each other okay now what he means to say that is his father his uh, sorry master and he are having very uh, not very good relations with each other then launcelot now says to be brief the very truth is that the jew having done me wrong does cause me as my father being i hope an old man shall fortify unto you now what launcelot said that is in short if i say the truth is that the jew has done injustice okay to me he has caused me that is he has made, made me to suffer he has caused me as my old father will tell you and as my old father will tell you that what actually happened and what i want to say then gobo said i have here a dish of doves that i would bestow upon your worship and my suit is now what does it mean gobo said that i have brought a dish of doves dish of doves doves means birds okay so i have brought a dish of doves uh, which i would like to give you sir and my respect my sorry my request is okay now what he presents that I, as he was having one basket so what was there in the basket which uh, gobo had there was there were doves okay that is birds were there that he had brought in order to present shylock but here now he is giving that to basanio okay and why because launcelot had refused his father that no no don't give to uh, shylock but if you want to give this gift you give it to basanio okay then after giving the present now he says to basanio that now my request is launcelot now says that in very brief the suit is impertinent to myself as you worship shall know by this honest old man and though i say it though old man yet poor man my father now what does it mean launcelot says that in short that is in brief if i say 
this request is concerning me impertinent that is related to me concerning me so your owner will come to know that is as he will tell you about the request so his my your owner that is you will come to know uh, about it from my honest old man although i his son that is although i am his son say it he is my father though old and poor then basanio now basanio also got confused because uh, old gobo wanted to say again and again but here launcelot was interrupting in between that this my father will again say you that what actually is the request okay now basanio got confused and then basanio finally said that one speak for both that is one of you speak out of both what would you that is what is your request what do you want from me so you tell me straight and one only of you must speak then launcelot says serve you sir now launcelot told that is i want to serve you sir then gobo that is very defect of the matter sir now what he said that is that is the very defect of the matter now again this word defect is wrongly used you can look on the other side okay keep on looking for the meanings given on the uh, other side there in the textbook children that is very 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 helpful for you and important as well then gobo said that that is the gist of our request sir okay then basanio said i know thee well thou has obtained thy suit shylock thy master spoke with me this day and has preferred thee if it is preferment to leave a rich jew's service to become the follower of so poor a gentleman then what here basanio said what does it mean i know thee well so he is told that is i know you very well and thou has obtained thy suit that means and i agree to your request and what was the request that launcelot wanted to become servants of basanio so basanio said that yes i know you very well and your request is granted okay i accept you as my servant then shylock thy master spoke with me this day that is your master shylock only told about you this day that is today only he told me about you and has preferred thee that is and he has recommended you okay preferred that means recommended that is he recommended me uh, you and told that to accept you as my servant then if it is preferment to leave a rich jew's service and then he tells to launcelot that is if you think that it is a promotion for you leaving service of a rich jew and to serve a poor man like me okay that i don't have any problem i accept you as my servant you can serve me and who has told basanio about launcelot shylock okay always you should remember children all these points okay then launcelot now said the old proverb is very well parted between my master shylock and you sir you have the grace of god sir and he has enough now here launcelot said that the old proverb is applicable equally sorry the old proverb is applicable equally to you and my master shylock it is in that sense that you have god's blessings and shylock has enough wealth okay he wants to say that is the old proverb which is there that some people have blessings on them of god and some people are there they have only wealth okay so he said that the old proverb is very well parted can be described between you and uh, my master shylock that you have blessings of god and only he has possession he has wealth then basanio said uh, you speak it well go father with thy son take leave of thy old master and inquire my lodging out and then basanio said to his followers give him a livery more guarded than his fellows see it done and then basanio said that the, uh, thou speakest it well that is very well you have said 
go father with thy son and then he said to gobo that is father you go with your son take leave of thy old master that is you go and inform your old master shylock that you are not going to serve him any more and inquire my lodging out and then after informing him you can find out my house uh, and then in, after informing you can come to my house and then now he instructs his other followers that give him a livery more guarded than his fellows that is you see that you have to give him livery livery means uniform that is you have to give him uniform that should be much more decorated than the other fellows than the other servants and see it done and then he instruct to his servant that is you see that it should be done okay as i have told you that you have to do and what he has told that to provide a uniform that should be guarded that should be decorated much more than the other servants okay now after this launcelot's speech launcelot said father in i cannot get a service no i have never a tongue in my head well if any man in italy have a fairer table which does offer to swear upon a book i ha i shall have good fortune go to here's a simple line of life now he, he was saying these things looking into looking uh, looking on his palm so he said that go to here's a simple line of life here is a small trifle of wives alas 15 wives is nothing 11 widows and 9 Mates is a simple coming in for one man, and then to escape drowning thrice, and to be in peril of my life with the edge of a feather bed. Here is a simple escapes. Well, if fortune be a woman, she is a good wench for this gear. Father, come, I will take my leave of the Jew in the twinkling of an eye. Now, what does it mean? That Launcelot said. that father in now after uh, getting service of basanio now they both were going and launcelot said that is father come along that is come with me and you sh- you said that i could not get a job you said that i could not speak for myself well no man in the whole italy has more fortunate palm okay which he places on the bible when he is taking an oath okay now here he wants to say that looking into his like looking on his palm that uh, there is no person more fortunate than me in whole italy therefore i will have a better luck now he was now showing his palm his fate, lines of fate and was telling uh to his father and what does he say that see here is a line of life okay now here he was showing that his father see that this line is there that is a line of life okay and here is a small unimportant line that is triple line is there that is you see that here some uh, unimportant line of is there which refers to marriage that is that is line of marriage so i shall marry 15 wives and then looking on his palm he said that i shall marry 15 wives and these are not too many and then he said that these are not too many 15 wives is nothing 11 widows and 9 virgins a good record for one man then then i will be saved from drowning thrice and be in danger of my life from falling out from a feather bed now see he is making all uh, nonsense speeches why because he has got a role of a clown in the play okay he always tried uh, to make the readers and the audience laugh okay he always tried to amuse them here and uh, then i will be safe from drowning thrice and be in danger of my life from falling out from a feather bed these are the simple escapes well if fortune be is a woman she is good at this kind of fortune telling come father i shall take my leave from the jew in a short while okay after saying all these things he said that is come father i will 
टेक लीव ऑफ माय मास्टर ओल्ड मास्टर शायलॉग वेरी फास्ट देन लॉन्स लॉट एंड ओल्ड गोबो डिपार्ट दे लीव द प्लेस आफ्टर दिस बसानियो सेड आई प्रे दी गुड लॉरेन सॉरी गुड लियोनार्डो थिंक ऑन दिस दीज थिंग्स बींग बॉट एंड ऑर्डरली बेस्टोप्ड रिटर्न इन हेस्ट फॉर आई डू फीस्ट टू नाइट माई बेस्ट एस्टीम्ड एक्वेंटेंसेज हाई दी गो नाउ वॉट बसान यू सेड दैट आई प्रे दी आई प्रे दी मीन्स आई रिक्वेस्ट यू आई रिक्वेस्ट यू गुड लियोनार्डो थिंक ऑन दिस दैट इज यू जस्ट थिंक ओवर दिस वॉट एवर आई हैव टोल्ड दीज थिंग्स बींग बॉट दैट इज यू हैव टू परचेज दीज थिंग्स एंड orderly bestowed that is orderly arranged these things should be packed up and properly arranged return in haste that is after that you come back very fast for i do feast tonight because i have for for means because because we have celebration tonight party tonight my best esteemed acquaintance that is my best friends will be with me today night so high the go that is hurry up go fast and come back soon then leonardo said my best endeavors shall be done herein so he said that i shall do my best in this matter i will use all my energy and i will finish this work as soon as possible then enter graciano now see this is the third section of this scene first section was where launcelot was there he was found debating to uh, debating with his debating to himself okay that is devil and conscious were there they were found debating and then second part is second section of the scene is where basanio enters and launcelot requests basanio to accept him as his servant and now the third scene comes where graciano takes entry and he re- will request basanio to take him also to belmont with him okay now here graciano said where is your master now he asked leonardo he didn't see basanio so he asked that where is your master and leonardo said yonder sir he walks yonder means over there that he is there you can see he is walking over there then graciano signe basanio that is gentleman basanio basanio said graciano Okay my friend you have come Vesano said I have a suit to you that is I have a request to you Basanio you have obtained it now he said in a very friendly way that is you have obtained it that is your suit your request is already granted as you have asked so Basanio said you have obtained it then Vesano you must not deny me I must go with you to Belmont and now what request Vesano makes to uh, Basanio that you must not refuse me and i must go with you to belmont then basanio said why then you must but hear the graciano thou art too wild too rude and bold of voice parts that become the happy do enough but where thou art not known why there they show something too liberal then he said to liberal pray thee take pains to ally with some cold drops of modesty i be misconstituted in the place i go to and lose my hopes okay then what does it mean basanio said that why then you must why miss well that is well then you must join me you must accompany me grashano but listen to me thou art too wild too rude and bold of voice and then he tells grashano but you are uncontrollable rough and blunt okay when you speak so such things are tolerated here that is as we are your friends so we tolerate your such kind of behavior and then he said so that is tolerable here and with friends like us so they are not considered as fault that is that we do not consider as your mistake as your fault but where you are not known that is as you will come to me with uh, to belmont so there people do not know about you so they appear as 
false that is they may consider it as your fault as you are so uh, wild or you are so loud in your speeches you uh, speak in a very blunt way so they may consider people who do not know you they may consider that this is fault in you mistake in you and then he said i request you to control your wild spirit by putting up a modest temper otherwise your wild behavior may be misunderstood in the place where i am going and it should it uh, sorry it could shatter my hopes okay that is it may happen that because of your fault it may happen that i may lose my hope as i am going to win portia so she may also think wrong about me and i may not get chance to win her and marry her then grashano said signe basanio hear me if i do not put on a sober habit talk with respect and swear but now and then wear prayer books in my pocket look demurely nay more while grace is saying put mine eyes now up to here what does he say grashano that lord basanio hear me that is listen to me if i do not behave modestly okay uh, talk with politeness swear rarely carry a prayer book in my pocket and look modest in my outlook do not trust me again now he told that is if i do not behave in a proper way there then never in my life you trust me i shall go further then what he said thus with my heart and sigh and say amen so he said that is i will what i will do that while the prayer before a meal is said that is before the meal as we say the prayer so i will close my eyes by placing my heart before them and say okay now he is telling that is what are the good habits i will be doing there so that people may have good thoughts about me okay so he said that is before the meals i will say the prayer i will cover my eyes with my hat and after saying the prayer i will say amen and then in front of the people i will say that i will use all the manners of a civilized society observing all manners like the one who has learnt to put an appearance to please his grandmother so if i do not follow these things do not trust me again so he said that is if i do not follow all these good habits as i have told you then never trust me again then basanio said he replied that well we shall see your bearing so he said that is yes we will surely watch your behavior there and then grashano nay but i bar tonight you shall not gauge me by what we do today night so he said that is but don't observe me today night you can observe me there in the belmont okay because today night what was there there is a party there is a celebration they will have uh, dinner together so there they will be very friendly to behave with each other so he said that is no but i should be excused today night and you must not judge me by what we do today then basani said no that were pity i would entreat you rather to put on your boldest suit of mirth and for we have friends that purpose merriment but fare you well i have some business so he said basanio here that no it would be pity to do that and i request you to be in your happiest mood for we have friends to entertain well goodbye for now i am busy with some other business okay then vesano said and i must to lorenzo and the rest but we will visit you at supper time then he vesano uh, said to him that is i must join lorenzo and the others but we will meet you at the supper time remember that okay now with this our act 2 scene 2 is over and really sorry children that today there was some disturbance while recording please don't mind children okay it's evening time when i am recording and uh, children were playing around and there was prayer going on in house so 
घंटी बज रही थी सो डोंट माइंड दैट ओके गुड बाय